What's up guys? This is the Shield Lord, otherwise known as Mint, and today I'm going to be bringing you a guide on Blitz. Stuck in the crossfire, it's really hard to get this engagement in his favor. He will finally take out Shala, but it's his last team teammate though, Pojo, at the bottom Mint into an ace situation. He's going to get the 4K! He has the mirror window and the flash, and he gets it! The ace from Mint! So I've been playing competitive for about five years now in the North American Pro League. Um, and I currently play for Dark Zero. And I'm kind of known as playing the Swiss Army Knife uh, type operators, uh, the meta operators, the operators that people do not want to play against. Um, and one of them is known as Blitz. Um, so Blitz is a, obviously the shield op. He's able to sprint, he has super good movement, uh, and he's able to take almost any one-on-one -on -one and be favored. Uh, and I'm gonna show you his loadout real quick. Obviously you only have a shield and a pistol. I recommend putting uh, the muzzle brake on the pistol. I would not go for the suppressor. That's just gonna mess with your, your hip fire. And the laser is 1000% necessary. Um, you're gonna be hip firing a lot with him. Um, and that's just gonna, it's already bad enough as it is. So just put the laser on it. I would highly recommend smokes. Um, you're able to, when there is no cover to use, use the smoke grenades as cover, uh, brief to charges. Someone else in your team can run them. You shouldn't have to. Why I would choose Blitz versus Montaigne? That is the biggest question. Personally, for me, I kind of hate how as Montaigne, you you see them in front of you, you're able to make calls, you have intel. Um, however, you know the enemies might just run up to you, you drop your shield, they knife you. Um, I prefer Blitz um, just because you know anytime you get into an engagement, uh, you should be favored. You're able, you have a flash on your shield. Um, you're able to get the one-on-one, -on -one, you're able to flash him, blind him, and then, you know, execute, make the kill on him, uh, hit him with a shield, hip fire him, ADS him, you know, whatever it is. Um, however, Montaigne obviously does have a lot of strength. As far as role, to locate a bomb. where the, he would fit what's into the line in, it's kind of an entry out, uh, in 10 it's seconds. also a flex out. I personally play flex uh, for War Montaigne, Dark Five Zero, seconds to insertion. and... I use it as the flex operator, but you absolutely could drop a you must sledge locate and defuse a bomb. if you just, for a certain strategy, maybe you needed more of an entry, you could definitely drop one of those to run blitz. What it allows me to do, instead of being a flex operator, is it, it speeds up a lot of our entry. So, you know, here on the clubhouse, the bomb has been located. Drone, on the bottom of the road, here in June. You're able to speed up the entry by quite a lot. You almost don't need a drone in front of you. You're able to walk in, start checking you everything in front of you without you know, the risk of them just shooting you in the face. Um, I would recommend, obviously, having someone behind you. If it looks as best paired with an operator, such as like a, a Twitch, uh, IQ, a Thatcher, someone able to get the traps that are in front of you. You know, you, As a blitz, you need to be careful of lesion. Um, Mute is a super good counter against Blitz. He can't flash, so kind of useless at that point. Uh, Ella traps could mess with your vision. So certain things like that, you know, a patch or an IQ, uh, or even a Twitch could, could be very helpful. But I just wouldn't recommend a solo Blitz, you know, clearing top floor clubhouse by itself. Uh, I would recommend someone definitely being behind you. You don't want to go way too fast on the entry and have no one behind you. Um, just gonna get picked. Uh, in the beginning of entering, like before you even entry, you know, because you don't need drones, I would recommend using the shields drones as flank drones. Uh, you'll probably never get on drones as a shield, uh, except maybe for the actual execute, like maybe droning right before you're gonna execute. Um, but if you kind of find yourself playing a shield operator and not using your drones, I recommend getting them out of your pocket and at least throw them on the map, make them face a certain direction, have your teammates get on them, uh, and at least be useful to your team. As far as when to hip fire, when to ADS, you know, when to use your, your shield flash, and obviously it all, uh, all depends on the engagement. Shield flash, I think it's less than five meters. I could be wrong on that. And, uh, me, personally, I like to flash and hip fire a little bit. What's going to happen when you flash uh, an enemy, they're just going to spray in the direction hoping to get you. So if you flash an enemy, there's a really good chance that they, one of their you know, stray bullets just happens to hit you in the head. It happens to me many times. Uh, so I've been doing this for a long time and I've died in way too many ways where the shield doesn't protect me. Uh, so one thing I started to do, flash. 
hip fire and then melee. You know, obviously, get a little closer. Um, if you have to go for the ADS, go for it. When do I go for the ADS? If I notice someone just keeps constantly nipping at my feet and they're just aiming low, I'll quickly just stand up, get a couple ADS shots on them, scare them a little bit. Um, other than that, I try not to ADS too much. It will get you killed as long as a shield. Another way to utilize your smoke grenades, um, instead of just using it for cover, would be to use what we call a smoke train. Um, so for this, pretend we are attacking cash and there's a rafter player, which is very standard in, in normal play. Um, so if it's a rafter player, normally teams will go underneath, try to nade, get the player out. Another way you can do this is having a smoke train. I only have one smoke grenade. Um, however, the concept is the same. Uh, maybe he's laying down, he's not paying attention to the door. As Blitz, if you try to run up these stairs, you have no cover. You're gonna get ripped up the entire way there. So instead, what you can do is throw a smoke grenade, and then you throw another one, and you would run through the smoke, and then you would appear on the other side. And now you pretty much have went through the entire area that um, you have no cover. You're at the top of the steps. You can crouch, start making your way. That's probably prone, um, and just basically work an execute. All right, so we just covered entering uh, with a shield. Obviously, it'll speed up your entry, but a uh, main reason to bring Blitz is because of how strong of an operator it is. Um, as an execute op, you know, it's used just like a Ying would be, uh, just like a Glass would be. Blitz is kind of in that same category where you could really use him to entry and give a different look, um, you know, to your attack. So one way would be church. Maybe you're doing a church execute and you're going to go through motor door. Instead of just having, you know, two people run here with guns, maybe one of them splits. You would have people still attacking blue. You would have someone still attacking on main. And then you would use the blitz to very strong uh, push onto the guy playing beer or to the guy playing behind a bomb. And you would just run in, flash, execute the kill. You're basically making space for your entries. So maybe you have an Ash behind you. You take the beer guy, Ash goes wide, starts killing guy behind bar, guy behind bar. Um, so it's very strong when paired with another uh, operator as far as like entering and executing. Canister was a little early, but he used it because he could hear the trunk, trunk, trunk of the mint, mint Blitz coming. He's gonna use another one soon, but Blitz is already in, and Mint will secure the kill in the corner. Gompy does get stuck. Another example on how to use Blitz as an execute op would be on Coastline when you're attacking Sun and Blue Bar. There is usually a smoke or a Lumai when playing in this close tuck corner of Sun Bar, uh, usually with a shield. And you know the meta way to take him out would just be wasting his magnets, wasting his ADS, throwing a nade, using Zo stuns, maybe even a Capital Fire, which is another good execute op. Um, but if you want to give it a look, Blitz could be used. If you watch in our recent game, I did this against the Sonics. You would enter you know, a drone, make sure he's still there. Use your smoke so he doesn't have any help. Usually he's going to have help from anyone playing in Cubby, Broke Hall, uh, and then a Tetris. Ideally, you would clear these players out first from a buff or a select above. And then once this guy's isolated, you smoke so he can't get any help. Push, flash, Blitz should win that every single time. Another example that I find that using Blitz works uh, really well for would be on Cafe, attacking Kitchen. Uh, maybe your team is doing a full floor execute, and by the time you're getting ready for execute, your freezer hatch is open, your buck is bucked and sludge above. However, they can still be sitting bunker because the floor above is, is hard, and if your team doesn't know the angle that you can get from that, uh, that wall, then maybe there's still a player trapped in, in bunker and ready to stop your execute. So as far as this, for Blitz, you need to get hatch open, drop. If you need to use a smoke grenade on windows or anything like that, feel free to use smokes. Um, if this wall is open again as, uh, or as well, you know, sometimes people put this wall is open, VIP, use your smokes. Um, but anyway, you would drop, and now as Blitz, you're able to push anyone out in close quarters. Left, right, push across the board. Um, in tandem, obviously, with your team as well, dropping, uh, having someone watch the window, anything like that. Um, but yeah, just another strong spot that, you know, teams could be sitting, and using a shield operator definitely strengthens the take. Thank you guys for watching my Blitz Guide. Hopefully you learned uh, some tips or tricks or anything like that to help you with your matches. Hopefully I don't see any more shields in Ranked Please. I would like my ELO. And thanks for watching.